The NBA Finals are here. Stack, do you get flashbacks to 2003 when this time of year comes around? Most definitely. Not everyone is built to shine under the bright lights. I think we'll have a good one this year. The intensity is at the highest in the NBA Finals. That's why DraftKings Sportsbook is upping the stakes. This week, new customers can bet just $5 on either team to win and get 150 in free bets instantly. Build your own same-game parlay on DraftKings Sportsbook. Combine player props, game spreads, and much more. The more legs you add, the more money you can win. Be sure to also check out this week's All the Smoke Same Game Parlays. We're going to end the season hot. I can feel it. Head over to the app now and see who we're riding with this week. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use promo code SMOKE. Bet just $5 on any pro basketball team and get $150 in free bets instantly. That's promo code SMOKE at DraftKings Sportsbook. You end up choosing North Carolina. I chose North Carolina because when I went to the practice and I saw Sam Perkins, Brad Doherty, Michael Jordan, I looked at it and I said, I don't know if I can play here. I was a little nervous. I had never seen seven footers like they had. They had they had 10 McDonald All Americans on the team at one time. Mm. I was like, damn, I don't know if I could play here. I said, I know I could go to Duke and play. I could play at Virginia. And I said, I gotta go here because I Tell can't. Yourself. I can't be there thinking that they're better than me. Mm -hmm. And so I wound up going. At that time, you know, which is now if you don't do it, I was only the fifth freshman to ever start at the university. Like, but now if you don't start as a freshman, people like, they trash good enough, right? Mm -hmm. like, but, <laughs> he you know, said they'll transfer. <laughs> <laughs> but that was unusual to start right. as a freshman, right. you know, for, for me. Yeah, I mean, your freshman year team, to, to, to name a few, Michael Jordan, Brad Doherty, Sam Perkins, yourself. I mean, what were those practices like? You know what the crazy part was? The, nah, mm -hmm. that wasn't the question. Who was the best player out well, of the I'm bunch? Gonna, I'm going to get that. Yeah, I want to hear that one first. I want to see The best player, <laughs> Sam Perkins was the best player my freshman year. Like, because Sam was a four-time All-American. That, you know, like, mm -hmm. that wouldn't happen today any, mm -hmm. either. Like, first yeah. team. First team. First. Sam was the best player. Michael was the most dynamic. But he didn't have a handle. He couldn't handle the rock, like, in college. MJ? No, he couldn't yeah. handle the rock. So, like, even, even at times, I'd be like, you we play pickup. I'm like, oh, I got Mike. You're like, because I knew I'm like, I'm get up under you. Like, you can't handle mm. the rock. And, and um, What happened? And then? And then, <laughs> and then, <laughs> he's the only guy that I know that his weaknesses that he he's had crazy. at the end of his career was his, his strengths. Strength. The only person I've ever, yeah. LeBron's not like that, KD, nah, nobody. He's the only one where at the end, of, his handle was crazy and his jump shot was pure. Mm -hmm. I used to say, how do you miss a jump shot? You got a perfect form. Like, but we talked about it, and I was like, this is how competitive, we talk about competitive with Mike. So... I used to say, I was like, it's like, oh, you think you can guard me? It's like, yeah, because your handle's whack. I used to say, your handle's <laughs> whack. I can guard you. And like, blah, blah, blah. So now, we we doing that, we playing. He goes to the Olympics, comes back, goes to um, to the league, comes back for the summer, because all the players, every mm -hmm. North Carolina player come, came, but we all come back and play. So the gym is for doodles. Mm -hmm. like, it, it, like any NBA team, we would have beat, like mm -hmm. in that gym, without question. And he's, 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 boom, 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 he's gone. I'm like, damn. This gang guy, he's like, my handle, been working on it. But I forgot <laughs> I said that shit. Right, like, I really right, forgot right, I right. said it. And he's like, my handle, right? You're talking about my handle. But he was, like, the stories are true about his competitiveness. Like, we were, pl we were playing pickup one day, so this is when you knew you made it. I made, I made it, too, because... The juniors and seniors, you know, even at y'all school, probably picked the team. He didn't go to school, yeah. but yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, straight yeah. out of high school. He went to Mexico. Right. So <laughs> they pick. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, wait. At North Carolina, this is how we do it. So the, the pros go on one end, right. and the players, college players right. go on the other. And then you pick your team. Yep. But you could you could pick the pros. Or the you crossover, could pick, yeah. You could cross over. Mm -hmm. So Michael and or Sam, whoever, they were the senior leaders and junior leaders, they could pick the team. And the first day, you know, you know, you, as a freshman, you're just sitting because right. they're not picking you. Mm -hmm. So you get on the court in. So about two weeks later, about a week later, uh, Michael's picking and he's like, I got, uh, I got New York. They used to call me New York. Mm -hmm. like, I got New York. I was like, oh, shit, I got picked first. Mm. He's like, 
first. It's, it's, it's 20 official. pros in the gym. Yeah, official. I was like, oh, it's crazy. Yeah. So, yeah. I was like, so my, my confidence was boost. So now we playing, right? And we winning. We winning games. And so every time I'm, we win, you know, you go get water. And I'm watching Mike, and he's standing in the middle of center court. I'm like, I walk I'm like, yo, what are you doing? He's like, I want the motherfuckers to know that I'm never leaving the court. Mm. I'm going to be the first to stand here and the last. I was like, all right, so we both going to stand here. <laughs> and I was like, this is what we doing. This is how we doing. This is what but, we doing. Yeah, I mean, he was like, I mean, he was the first dude that I met that could back up his trash. Mm. Like every day. Mm -hmm. Every day. Always a talker? Always a talker and always backed it up, though. Like, mm -hmm. And he really took more pride, especially then, his defense. He's like, Walter Davis, you're not scoring today. You're not scoring today, Walter Davis. Mm. Like he, that's the type of energy he was on all the time. He, and when he, when he got to the league, <laughs> so we had dorms and our dorm numbers don't change. So if you had dorm number eight, it's the same phone number next year. Okay. You're just a different person. Mm -hmm. So, so all of, when he comes in town, this is before the Instagram and mm -hmm. he, you'd hear the phones go, bring. One, and somebody hang up, bring, and you just Trying hear it going down. Y so it's him, and he, all he say is, school's in session, boom. School's in session. <laughs> so everybody come in the hallway and be like, Mike's here, Mike's here, right? Like, yeah, dope. Mike, so he go and he call each room to let her know, come to the gym. School's in session. School's in session. So the gym would be packed. We'd have 4,000 people watching our pickup games. That's crazy. 4,000. That's dope as hell. It, it, was, it, was, it right. was unbelievable. That time of right. uh, basketball, was a different. There was no Charlotte Hornets. Right. So it like was it. people would, and this is no social media, and people the all whole Somehow campus would just out. know. Or just word of mouth. Yeah. Word of mouth, and they would be four. It would be four thousand people when he came in that gym. The good old way. I can picture. I that. mean, obviously with his competitiveness and and his desire to get better at a young age, did you see him possibly being a great? I knew he would be great. I never thought he'd be the greatest mm. because when I first saw him, and then when I saw him. When we even in practice, like you don't like, I guess it's like you have a beautiful wife and you like take it for granted because mm -hmm. she's there every day. Mm -hmm. You see it, you see it every moment. Mm -hmm. You know, you see every moment. You know, a beautiful person you're around. You you see their bad side too. You see the days that they're mm -hmm. in the mood. So for him, I saw those moments and I was like, but then when he when he left and he came back, I saw that the energy that he put into his game. Like, he never stopped working, man. Like, his stuff is not an accident. Like, it's not like, oh, he was gifted. No. He was the most fundamentally sound player that ever played the game. If you watch the videos, his, his left hand is in the correct passing lane. His footwork is impeccable. The offensively, you know, his jab step is mm -hmm. he's always ball move, feet stay still. Like, all of those things were all the time. And then he was the best athlete. Mm -hmm. Most guys who were that athletic didn't they rely on package, that. Right. You know, mm -hmm. as great as even, you know, and this is not a knock, but as great as Clyde Drexler was, uh, that was the difference between him and Mike to me. It's just the fundamentals of jab step. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, the stuff that Dean Smith mm -hmm. learned. But, uh, and then Mike gets a lot of credit for, like, his quotes. But it's just Dean Smith's quotes. He's stealing mm -hmm. them, I'm gonna keep huh? it real. It's stolen. It's mm -hmm. all plagiarism. <laughs> he it's says all plagiarism. plagiarism. It's 100. <laughs> it's just he just adds expletives. <laughs> but if everything I'm gonna say, everything that Coach Smith said to us, that's what Mike said. Wow. Every interview, you 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 can pull it. It's every interview. It's mm -hmm. plagiarism to the finest. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, speaking to Coach Smith, what was it like? Some of the stories and memories you have. Rest in peace. Obviously, one of the greatest to ever do it, uh, Dean Smith. He was to me. It was like playing for Gandhi. Mm. Like, you know what I mean? He was, it was surreal about his inner person, who he was. My favorite story is, is not even with me. It's, uh, it's with Maktah Njai, who played at North Carolina. Mm -hmm. He was from Africa. Mm -hmm. Played at Michigan, transferred mm -hmm. in. Went to Oak Hill. And went to Oak Hill, yeah, mm -hmm. he went to Oak Hill. So Mac, Mac was, um, you know, having a tough time in practice. So Roy Williams was assistant coach at the time, and he's in Bill Guthridge. And so they're getting on Mac, like, Mac, what's wrong with you? Blah, blah, blah. Coach Smith never cussed, ever. Excuse me, ever, ever, ever. Never cussed. So they're getting on him, and so they throw him out of practice, right? So Coach Smith, after practice, goes to him, 
says, Mac, is everything all right? Like, homesick? Like, and he's like, no, coach. And he's not, he's not looking at him. He's like, he's like, Mac, look at me when I'm talking to you. Mm-hmm. He's like, no, coach, I'm just not feel. Mac, look at me as I talk to you. He said, coach, in my culture, to look uh, an adult in the eye is mm, sign of disrespect. It's sign of disrespect. So his coachman says, oh, okay. Walks out. So next day in practice, there's no Coach Guthridge. We threw him out of practice. Coach Guthridge is not there for a week. Mm. So Mac said he gets a call because from his mom. She's like, Mac, there's this man here in Africa. Says he's your coach, assistant coach. I know it's Coach Smith. I don't know him well. He's been here for a week saying he's learning our culture. Mm. He sent Coach Guthridge to learn his culture Ooh. so he can never make that mistake again. Mm. That That's is deep. what Coach Smith is. That's, That's deep. deep. Yeah. That's dope. Well, That's deep. That's the best story I heard of. That's, That's dope. That's deep.